2021 gave us a lot of competitive mid-range phones that impressed us with their cool designs, capable specs, and an all-around great performance for daily use. But for this video, we'll show you guys our top 5 picks in the mid-range phone price segment. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Al, and this is our top 5 best mid-range phones of 2021 list to start off your 2022 with a bang. So if you're looking for a brand new phone to start off this new year, well, keep on watching. First on our list is the OnePlus Nord 2. OnePlus has always been devoted to developing flagship killer devices at a lower price. Now the OnePlus Nord 2 has two configurations with different price points. First one is the 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of ROM variant for 20,470 pesos. And the second one is the 12 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of ROM variant for 23,410 pesos. Now this device is equipped with a speedy Dimensity 1200 AI processor and a stunning 6.43 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display and an HDR10 Plus with DCI-P3 color support and a 90Hz refresh rate that delivers really great visuals for gaming, watching YouTube, and movies on Netflix. For the cameras, the OnePlus Nord 2 has a pretty impressive set of lenses. It has a 50 megapixel f1.8 main camera with PDAF, an 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel f2.4 mono lens. While on the front, it has a 32 megapixel selfie camera. Additional features include a pair of stereo speakers, a 4,500 milliamp our battery with 65 watt fast charging capability and this device runs on the oxygen os 11.3 based off android 11. oh and did i mention that it's a 5g device yep you might want to check it out Second on our list is the POCO X3 GT. Now when it comes to budget contenders, POCO is known to release a ton of impressive devices that gain a lot of traction in the world of smartphones. Now the POCO X3 GT is their newest release. This device has two storage configurations and first is the 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of ROM variant for 15,990 pesos. And the second one is the 8 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of ROM for 17,990 pesos. The POCO X3 GT is powered by the Dimensity 1100 processor and it runs on MIUI 12.5 based off Android 11. Now for display, this has a 6.67 inch Full HD Plus LCD display with 120Hz refresh rate, 240Hz touch sampling rate with DCI-P3 support, all encased in Gorilla Glass Victus. So you can enjoy watching your favorite content in Full HD with guaranteed screen protection, which is a great deal. For the cameras, this has a 64 megapixel f1.7 main camera with PDAF, an 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. For selfies, this has a 16 megapixel front camera. Now, this device is packed with a 5000 mAh battery with 67 watt fast charging, and other features include Bluetooth 5.1, a side mounted fingerprint scanner, and JBL stereo speakers for great sound quality. Third on our list is definitely one of my favorite phones, the Realme GT Master Edition. This phone has a unique vegan leather pattern on the back panel. And mind you, this entire phone is designed by Muji and Erman Miller designer Naoto Fukasawa. So the back panel looks absolutely stunning and it adds a premium quality look and feel to it. Now this device has two storage configurations. First is the 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of ROM variant for 18,990 pesos. And the second one is the 8 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of ROM for 21,990 pesos. For gaming and overall performance, this phone is powered by the Snapdragon 778G processor and it runs on the Realme UI 2.0 based off Android 11. And for display, this has a 6.55 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with HDR10 Plus and DCI-P3 color support with a whopping 120Hz refresh rate. Now when it comes to cameras, the Realme GT Master Edition has a 64 megapixel f1.8 OV6 4B main camera with PDAF, an 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel f2.4 macro lens. While on the front, it has a 32 megapixel selfie camera. 
Additional features include a 4,300 mAh battery with 65 watt fast charging, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.1, and an in-display fingerprint scanner. Next on our list is the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G, and this device has two variants with different price points. First is the 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of ROM for 22,990 pesos, and next is the 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of ROM for 24,990 pesos. Now this phone is powered by the Snapdragon 778G processor and it runs on the One UI 3.1 based off Android 11. And for display, it has a 6.5 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED Infinity O display with a solid 120Hz refresh rate, which is an absolutely stunning and bright display, perfect to enhance your viewing experience. When it comes to capturing moments, this has a 64 megapixel main camera with PDAF and OIS a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle, a 5 megapixel macro, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. While on the front, it has a 32 megapixel selfie camera. Other features include a 4,500 milliamp hour battery with 25 watt charging, in display fingerprint scanner, a pair of stereo speakers, and an IP67 rating. With the Galaxy A52s 5G, you're getting a solid mid range performer with Samsung's track record. Now, the added price can give you assurance in regular security patches, software support, One UI familiarity and stability aftermarket support, and overall harmony with the rest of the Samsung ecosystem. So if your budget is short for an S or Note device, then this is an option you should keep your eye on. And last but not the least, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite 5G NE. Now this phone draws its appeal from its thin and light build and classy pastel color choices. It also has three variants with different price points. First is the 6 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of ROM variant for 16,900 pesos. Second is the 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of ROM variant for 18,990 pesos. And lastly, the 8 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of ROM variant for 20,990 pesos. Now, the Mi 11 Lite 5G NE is powered by the Snapdragon 778G processor and it runs on Mi UI 12.5 based off Android 11. For display, it has a 6.55 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 10 bit color and a 90 Hz refresh rate. When it comes to cameras, it has a 64 megapixel f1.79 camera with PDAF, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel telemacro lens. While on the front, it has a 20 megapixel selfie camera. Other features include a 4,250 milliamp hour battery with 33 watt fast charging and an in-display fingerprint scanner. Overall, if you need a stylish everyday carry smartphone that can handle moderate tasks, then you might want to look into this one. So far, these phones deliver top-notch specs, bright colorful displays, and powerful cameras that makes them stand out in the mid-range price level. And at the end of the day, it all comes down to your very own preference. So that's it for our list of the top 5 best mid-range phones of 2021 to help kickstart your 2022. And honestly guys, I do prefer the Realme GT Master Edition a little bit more, but hey, that's between you and me. So which phone do you prefer? Or actually, which phone do you think should be on the list? Comment down below and let me know. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for more updates. Once again, this was me, Elle, and I'll see you guys next time.